reviewing this portable washer and it has to be on level ground so I had this not so leveled but I lifted it up so that the hose can pour into the bucket when I fill it up with water I this is my first time trying to work it, but I did test the intake. So this intake only goes to this one, and this intake only goes to the spinner. And it does come with the hose. Now the hose normally doesn't fit into the faucets. I had to take the top off. So if you want to use this option, you should get an adapter. If not, you can always just pour water into here and it'll work the same way. So you go ahead and push this down hard and turn your water on or fill up something and just put it in there. As you see, it pours right in there. Okay, so I added soap and um, softener in there. Uh, just to make a note, the manual said not to put too hot of water because it can damage the equipment. And also, I've seen a lot of reviews where they put it in the bathtub. I wouldn't suggest that just because I'm an appliance girl and it's just so easily to shore out something accidentally. So we're going to go ahead and shut this. And we're going to set the timer. It has standard. And it has soft. And it has drain. And it has a timer for 0, 3, 5, I mean 6, 9, 12, 15 minutes. And you just put it to the time you want. And I'll start doing it. And that's what it looks like spinning. And one of the reviews suggests that you go ahead and drain it after the 15 minutes. Put fresh water in here. And then um, let all the soap rinse out. And I suggest that too. Okay, so I finished the whole wash cycle. And now you flip the switch from standard to drain and it just pours all the water into the bin so some people like it in their bathtub some like me put it on something and just have a bin so I can pull it out and the water is draining fairly fast okay now I'm gonna do the spin cycle and it does have to be on very stable ground or else the motor will overheat and give off a sm funny smell and rattle a lot. And this right here keeps the clothes in place. So I just stick that in there and it dries pretty well. It is not that moist after drying and all you do is just shut it, put that there. Turn the dial. It shakes for the first second, but after the first second, it just goes through for the five minutes, and it, it gets really, really, um, not dry per se, but it is not too wet. It'll dry very well. And these are some of the clothes that dry, and by tomorrow they will be completely dry because they're almost dry now so it works really well <clears throat> I'm very happy with this right here but I don't know how long its um, lifespan is that's the only concern but for what it is I think it works great <laughs>